so we can have the design results i'll just go a quick review you can go to this uh, bridge design requests you can request uh, modify and show request make sure you have all these things if you want to add any other combination uh, then you can have uh, like strength limit or strength one or two whatever limit state and make all these factors as it is before i did it 300 you should make it 600 because it is the code requirement factor so and then make it okay and then yes okay design bridge design star design and check and design now okay so it's it is designing now and uh, we will see how the design results are available yes so yes this, these are the design requests this is uh, design request one which has two parts so change the universe to kilo newton meter and you can see here the controlling demand over capacity ratio so what is this capacity uh, demand over capacity it is a ratio of the required load divided by the section capacity the bridge section capacity which we have uh, the gutter which we have provided so if it is greater than one it means uh, you should have the more uh, you should have the more uh, bigger section which you or you you need to revise the section which you can do that and you know uh, in, you can go back to define and there you can give the section properties or if it is astro standard section you can change it so if you move along this bar you can see you can see the value so in the mid span it is like uh, 0. Uh, 492 and at the supports it is uh, very high so it's more or less like sheer failure and if you click here longitudinal rebar area in, in the slab if you click on this and change the units to millimeter so and if you move on this you can see the reinforcement in millimeter scale in the total width of the slab so this is the reinforcement variation and this is the reinforcement inside the slab bridge in in the total width it's not per meter so if you want to convert into the per meter you have to divide by the width of the bridge slab and if you want to see the shear rebar area per unit length for uh, like for the for this exterior girder just click on this and you can see the rebar area the longitudinal rebar area the main reinforcement in the in the girder and you can see it is very high in the mid section and it's then this is the required around 8400 and in the mid section it is like 10800 so this gives you the variation and here you can provide the zero reinforcement theoretical reinforcement and if you click here you can see the shear rebar area per meter length of the girder so this is the variation and if you click on the other girder girder one so this is for the girder one this is for the girder two three four and five and so on and you can see the stresses as well longitudinal stresses you can see the forces for example if you click here you can see this is the bending moment profile kilonewton meter change this to yeah so you can see these are the same forces which we have seen before 1272 kilonewton meter and then like this so yeah 685 and 394 and then here it is like 1272 and then zero here so this is for the dead this is for the hl93 the moment and well for example maximum and minimum if you want to see the maximum moment at each section just click on this if you want to see the minimum just click on this and if you want to see both click on these two so it is like and well and v2 this is the shear this is again if you want to see the maximum this is the maximum and this is the minimum and it is both 
so this is what we have uh, we have the design results you can show and you can uh, modify if you want to make any changes in, in the girder you can go and let's do that for that you have to unlock so once you unlock it will delete all your analysis results and then you can go to define upload define section properties frame section so yes so first we have to see first we have to see which girder we have provided in our bridge object so layout line deck sections here modify and show section so we have uh, this is our RC bridge frames and we have this is a uh, total weight okay okay everything's fine and then frame section so these are the frame sections modify and show property uh, it is I think for the diaphragm if I remember this is this is for the fear this was for the girder so we can this is astro type 4 so what if we go for the astro type 5 okay okay and then we can go and yes girder section is this girder so we have increased our girder section this is the section this one girder so we have increased our girder section and now we can rerun re the analysis and we can see the design okay let's analyze run analysis run So uh, still we are working, we are talking about the first part of the design, the second part will be the design of these uh, piers and this cap beam. So let's uh, wait for some time, let's, let's see what happens with, uh, with the design once we have uh, entire girder section. I hope that now the demand over capacity ratios has reduced but finally we have to make sure so I just click here and we go to design concrete uh, bridge design and then start design shape of structure and design so it is my suggestion always use the spine model while you are running the analysis because it will be quicker yeah so it has reduced significantly and you can see the maximum value is less than one which is quite good because if it is less than one it shows that we have more capacity compared to the demand so it means if the required moment is 1500 so we have the capacity which is higher than 1500 which is good and it has been reduced for uh, left girder for girder 1 for girder 2 yes for girder 3 4 5 so for all these girders it's less than 1 or a bit close to 1 in fact and you can see the other results like the longitudinal bar rebar area in this girder so this is the longitudinal rebar area and you can see it, it's, it, it is also changed and slab reinforcement yes it's also slight change it, it is slightly changed it's more or less similar and the shear rebar area is also slightly changed but the longitudinal reinforcement of the girder and the demand and capacity ratio is significantly reduced 
okay so now let's move to the next part the next part we have to design these pairs so you can go to design concrete frame design and here you can give the suitable design core like aci318 okay this is the recent one which we have and then we can go to design Con uh, concrete frame design start design and check of structure so if you click on that it will perform the design and I can see this being is highlighted so I think the design is going on so it will perform the design on each and every frame element but now this design will not be performed for the bridge deck which includes girders and slab and yes so let's wait it shouldn't take that long but uh, I don't know maybe there's a problem with the sab itself or it's not responding so guys uh, meanwhile during uh, modeling if you have any question and if you face any difficulty you can just uh, leave your message in the in the comment section and as soon as I will see your message or I'll find time I'll come and I will respond to you cancel what's going on okay because it should not take that long so I think there is something going on inside this app and uh, I should wait so this second part is just like uh, the design of a building as we have the ACI code for the design of building so we use this code for the building design the procedure is very simple we make the frame elements beam column and I, as I already explained to you that uh, this SAP cannot design slab but it can design frame elements so all these members will be treated as frame elements so I think I should restart because uh, because it should it should do it should it should not take that long so let me restart this SAP manager okay so end task and then I rerun this app again okay 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 and then design concrete view device preferences this one okay it seems fine we have uh, do we have design comp S design comp S combination yes we have so i'm little worried that all these combinations would be considered for the the design so let me delete all these combinations because I'm worried the sap uh, yeah so just keep one this one because the ACI cannot uh, deal with the astro design combination so let's go and concrete frame design oh it's done so here you can see the design results this is the reinforcement in millimeter square per meter of the cap beam and I think it is a minimum reinforcement and this is the reinforcement in the column and you can also see the detailed design of these peers and these columns if you, if you right click you can see this menu and then if you click summary you can see it is a circular column these are the moment values you can see in your desired units m3 m2 and all these things so if none of if all these values you are getting and uh, reinforcement ratios let me see 
uh, what are the reinforcement ratio go to the concrete frame design display design info and then from here uh, rebar percentage okay so if these values are less than eight percent it's fine so one person mean you are getting the minimum reinforcement and yes the same is here this is again i think it is a minimum because it shows that we have very big uh deck section so we can reduce these sections uh not deck sections in fact the piers and the cab beam so if i click the width is like 0 0.7 meter and depth is one one meter so it's too big for this bridge so we can reduce these sizes we can rerun and we can optimize so this is all about the design and if you want to create a report you can maybe you you have already familiar with that how you can create a report just go there and yes just type here where you want to generate this report like uh, rc bridge okay so this completes this tutorial if you have any question or if you think i have done any mistake maybe uh, it is possible that during inputting the values i have done some mistake but if you feel anything just uh, you can contact me uh, via email uh, uh, you can find my email online in, in the website and you can also uh, send me a message over so this this is a detailed uh, design report which have all the features this report this, this report has all the features so you can see and you can study them okay thank you thank you for your listening and i hope uh, in, in the future you i will come up with a much better and comprehensive videos for your learning thank you